home to a civilization of millions. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magellan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers. The Clerics. The Outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them. For the comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magellan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Albs threatened the future of all the factions on Magellan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magellan. Consequence for failure. I 
should be dead. I better move before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. Evacuation sequence initiated. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observing room. of enemy territory and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong?
Damn. The land of the Berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Kellogg's job for him. Get up. If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me, you need to apologize. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. <laughs> Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment, if you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an Alb raiding party. Between them and the Rot Wars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. You said not to trust anyone, so why trust my answer? Huh. I guess you're right. Still, I reckon you'd have mentioned if there was anyone else still up there, seeing as you're looking for people yourself. But, hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath. You can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting and 